The composite wing, which is referred to as the black wing, due to its carbon fiber composition and distinctive color, is the subject of special focus during the production of the MC-21 passenger aircraft. One of the most significant attributes of this model is this wing. At present, this component is produced at the Aero Composite Facility, which is operated by the United Aircraft Corporation using domestic material. This capability was achieved by effectively replacing foreign composites that were no longer available as a result of sanctions. Composite materials, which have been used by Russian aviation companies for many years, currently comprise approximately 30 to 50 percent of the MC-21's construction. The era of composite aviation has since begun, despite the fact that it was once believed that composites could only be used on large, wide-body aircraft. Components such as flaps, landing gear doors, and fairings are now all made from composite materials, and aircraft with composite parts are at the forefront. The MC-21 is the first aircraft in its category to feature a composite wing, which accounts for 40% of its bulk, beating its competitors. For example, composite materials formed approximately one quarter of the components in the TU-204 airliner during the 1990s. Composites were used to build fairings, flaps, landing gear ports, and other components of the Sukhoi Superjet 100. The new MC-21 mid-range aircraft has outperformed other domestic planes in this composite race. This aircraft is the first of its kind in the world and the first in Russia to have a composite wing. Despite the fact that narrow-body aircraft are the most common worldwide, the use of composite materials has been limited for a long time. Russian designers have prioritized the advantages of the black wing for mid-range aircraft throughout the MC-21 project. The development of a wing that is both lightweight and has an advanced aerodynamic design enables significant fuel cost savings. Engineers are constantly striving to improve the aspect ratio of the wing, which is the ratio of its extent to its average cord. The high density and weight of aluminum present barriers to achieving a high aspect ratio. The structure's own weight becomes a significant measure, particularly in the area of the wing's base, as its length increases. The aluminum wing's aspect ratio typically exceeds eight to nine times, resulting in a substantial load. Carbon fiber, a material that is both lightweight and durable, enables even more impressive outcomes, as evidenced by the MC-21, which boasts an aspect ratio of 11.5 for its wing. The enhanced aerodynamics result in a reduction in fuel consumption and an increase in sustained speed and flight altitude. A mid-range aircraft with a standard aluminum wing utilizes approximately 140,000 tons of fuel during its operational life, according to a fuel cost analysis. The MC-21's composite wing reduces fuel consumption by 6% resulting in a savings of over 11,000 tons of petroleum. The composite wing for the MC-21 was developed by Aero Composite, a subsidiary of the Urquhart Corporation within Rostex United Aircraft Corporation. The facility completes the entire production cycle and delivers a fully assembled wing segment to the Irkutsk Aviation Facility. Composite wing production is the responsibility of two organizations within the Aero Composite Group. The Aero Composite Ulyanovsk facility is responsible for the production of major panels and spars, as well as the final assembly. The wing's mechanization and certain internal assemblies are manufactured in Kazan by Capo Composite. Composite components are manufactured using two principal methods. The initial method is conventional autoclave technology. This entails the formation of a prepreg, a carbon fiber sandwich, which is subsequently placed in an autoclave and transformed into an aviation component over the course of several hours. The wing's mechanization and tail assembly are manufactured by Capo Composite in Kazan using this autoclave technology. Diverse technologies may be implemented to fabricate sophisticated aviation components. Infusion technology is one such method that enables the production of parts such as fan blades at a quicker pace. The autoclave method necessitates the assembly of large components from distinct components, which presents a challenge for complex integral parts. In contrast, the infusion can accommodate such complexities. One substantial benefit of infusion technology is that it does not necessitate specialized autoclaves. At present, 
the Aero Composite Ulyanovsk plant is the largest enterprise in Russia that employs this technique for the production of composite aviation parts. Ulyanovsk, the first facility of its kind within Rostec's United Aircraft Corporation, adopted advanced infusion technology to manufacture substantial wing box panels. This method involves the automated use of carbon tape, which is a unique aspect of the industry. Composite materials for the MC-21 were initially imported. However, as the project advanced, domestic facilities began manufacturing wing components. Consequently, Russian technology has distinguished itself from its foreign counterparts and is now a prime example of advanced aviation innovations. Foreign bans and sanctions have resulted in a halt of composite material supplies, which has caused challenges for the Russian aviation industry since 2018. Nevertheless, the aviation industry promptly replaced foreign suppliers with domestic ones, a process that was facilitated by the pre-existing technological base in Russia, where composite production has been ongoing since 2015. The development of materials for the wing's load-bearing composite structures was made possible by the collaboration between scientists at Moscow State University and the Rosatom Corporation. Currently, the MC-21 wing's design exclusively employs domestic composite materials for both infusion and autoclave technologies. The MC-21-300, which was launched on December 25, 2021, demonstrated its exceptional capabilities. The Russian Black Wing's compressive tests were successfully completed in March 2024, which effectively concluded the phase of replacing imported composites with domestic ones. The MC-21's wing box was subjected to pressures that exceeded the calculated 1.5 times threshold during testing. In order to verify the aircraft's high strength and safety, under a variety of flight conditions in accordance with aviation standards, a portion of the wing structure was also heated during the tests to assess the composite's resistance to high temperatures. Now, do you think composite wings are better than aluminium wings? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us